Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Leisure Seeker, which technically is a 2017 film. It was it was qualified for awards at the Golden Globes because Helen Mirren got nominated. So even though this is really out into 2018 at this point, but whatever. This was directed by directed and written by Paolo Verzi, who also had committee helping out writing the script because there's like three other writers and it kind of shows. I was I didn't have high standards going to this film. The viewer rating for this was decently high. The um, critic rating was not. And I lean more towards what the critics are saying. Like this film is very cliched. It's kind of tonally off, honestly, because it's trying to balance. Dealing with some serious stuff like potentially dementia and like cancer and stuff like that. And there's moments of like goofing around. It's like, the Dickens, what are we doing in Pennsylvania? And like lines like that that seem silly, silly and quirky and stuff like that. But then you're dealing with like one of the lines from the trailer. It's like, I will my husband was charming and you took him from me and I want him back and it's like well the same one who took him from you took him from me too and it's just like oh that went dark real quick and it like if it wasn't for the actors in this film a lot of those serious moments wouldn't work and at all and some of them really don't work and like they get held up and like that's played for laughs and stuff like that and it's just like really tonally off but there's such and such powerful performances in this film that kind of brings you through this film at least because Helen Mirren is really really good in this film and she sells the emotions and everything but my biggest issue is that her character is incredibly unlikable and on some level you're supposed to be sympathizing with her because she's her husband is going through like dementia and she just acts like ugly a bitch to him and blames him for everything and lashes out on him for everything and I've seen some people like well it's like it's a different way of responding instead of the like always supportive and stuff but sometimes she's just being a bitch and it's just like he can't help it and you're just making it worse honestly and it's really sad and those moments take me out of the movie and makes me like, I don't like this. And Donald Sutherland's fantastic though and really sells those moments of you can tell when it's starting to slip from him and he really sells moments and he's very powerful in this film and I really enjoyed him quite a bit. And in terms of the characters, they're both interesting people and that's also helps us get through this film because this was clocking in at like an hour and 50 minutes as well which was long and it kind of dragged and you're kind of weighing like when are we getting to the point of this eventually and it was good to look at Luca Bogazzi does uh, a really good job of shooting this film it looks good there's nothing super impressive about the cinematography but it looks good it does look like it was a well put together film and like there's some nice music it wasn't like super super memorable by Carlo Virsi who I'm assuming is related to the writer director but overall it was done well their daughter played by Janelle Maloney does a nice job I think she has some good scenes especially selling some emotional stuff Christian McKay, who plays her son, is super annoying, and I hated him, and it's just like, stop cutting back to him, I don't want to hear his crap, and it was just really annoying, and I, something about his voice, and it was just like, I don't like you, and it, like, he's obviously concerned about his family, but just his performance annoyed me so much, I'm just like, I'm done, no thank you, and uh, overall, this film is kind of a hot mess. It's some positive notes, but overall, it's a great ex um, execution of a bunch of cliches. Not great. And overall, I'm going to give Leisure Seeker a C-.